Hello YouTube people, I bought yet another ultra cheap watch from Aliexpress because they are a lot of fun. But this time, you know, with those ultra cheap watches from Aliexpress is always uh, a gamble. You don't know how this quality control gonna be like. And this time, I haven't won in Aliexpress lottery. This watch came with quality control problem, very big one. I'll show you later on. But first of all, let me show you this watch a little bit up close. I'll tell you what it does, how to read it. And that's basically the reason why I bought this watch, because it looks very intriguing, very interesting. And it's also a very nice watch. Not kind of, it does look cheap in person. I mean, cheap in a bad way. I will tell you why. But overall, it's kind of, it's very intriguing, very interesting. And from the distance, very nice watch as well. <laughs> so let's take a better look at this watch. It's a very simple quartz watch. It just has uh, extra long, well, double-sided hands. Right now it's default showcase time is 10 past 10. And simply explaining, there are uh, first two wheels uh, of numbers showing you hours. For example, 12 hours, first hour, second hour, third hour. And the other end of our hand is shorter reading the smaller circle the smallest one right now it's three hours four hours five hours the same idea is with minute hand the long one so one end of the minute hand is long reading right now uh, 50 minutes 55 minutes uh, five minutes and another end of minute hand is short reading the smaller circle right now is 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes 35 minutes you get the idea it's simple but it's like it's genius i really like that that's the reason why i bought this watch it's very interesting now what's the bad thing about this watch why it does look cheap in a bad way looking up close two problems first of all the black part of the dial looks like just a paper it's nothing special it's just like a black paper and those silver bits silver dust uh, supposed to be very shiny like stars but it's i don't know it just lacks shininess those silver bits i i just i don't know it just looks a little bit nasty to be honest nasty and cheap the black part now another problem is the quality control problem is that the big part the big white part of the of the dial is completely misaligned like let me set the hands horizontally you see white part is so sideways it's i, I don't know man i was really i really wanted this watch for myself and getting it this bad is just oh my god it's super annoying but i bought another one but this time i bought that watch from the sand which is basically the same but a little bit different so we'll see how the quality control is on sander watches i hope it's okay because i really want this watch for myself it's very cool very interesting and also look at this little circle in the middle it's a seconds hand it's so cool i really like this watch it's cheap nasty but it's so interesting i really like it now with the original bracelet how is it a bracelet by the way actually feels very good on the wrist very soft no sharp edges and very nice clasp easy to micro adjust easy to use i have zero complaints about the bracelet it looks a little bit feminine but it kind of fits the character of this watch i would say it, it's fine it's fine now let's look how it looks from the third person view it looks rather interesting on this blue nylon strap i like this texture of this blue nylon strap i will also put link in the description just be warned this strap is very rough initially feels like sandpaper you have to wash it up in a washing machine with lots of fabric softener and after a while it softens out and it's fine 
Right, very, very interesting watch, very intriguing and I believe many people gonna ask you how do you read the time on this watch and it's like extra conversation starter if you like that, very interesting but uh, sorry it's a little bit negative review and I just, I don't want to be harsh on this watch because all ultra cheap watches on Aliexpress are, you know, it's a gamble, you never know, you never know. Maybe sometimes I get a good watch, do a review, it's a nice watch, it's a keeper and whatever and it has zero quality control problems, but you buy the same watch on Aliexpress and it's, you, you never know, you're gonna get a watch with hands falling off, with cricket dial or whatever, it's, it's always a gamble, so keep that in mind with ultra cheap watches on Aliexpress and if you're not all right with that Casio is always here for you <laughs> I never had a single quality control problem with Casio so just buy if you don't want to mess with any anything of that nature just you want to buy a cheap but good watch just my recommendation just go for Casio and don't bother with cheap Aliexpress watches but if you want sometimes something unique just to get a little you know a toy to play around it's, it's, it's a gamble, but sometimes it could work out as an interesting, nice watch. I had good experiences with ultra cheap watches from Aliexpress as well. So with this one also, maybe it's just one of a hundred. Maybe it's one of a fifty, maybe it's one of a, I don't know, but it's definitely, they aren't gonna be all like this. It, it would be ridiculous. So I don't know. Anyway, if you want to see measurements of this watch, check the description. I did all measurements by myself. And right now it's time to rate this watch. We are going to rate this watch on my tier list, thomaswatchreviews.com. Honestly, uh, I would put this watch into not bad because it's a very interesting watch. But because of this cricket dial, I can't. I'm going to put this watch into nope tier. Maybe they all go like this. Maybe they all are with this quality control problem. I don't know, so I'm gonna play th place this watch into nope tier, which means I do not recommend buying this watch. Let's wait till the Sander watch uh, with the similar design arrives. We'll see how it is. Until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.